Mr. Clown here from Clown and Maths. Today we're going to be looking at the Higher Maths 2022 exam changes. Quite a lot to get through, so stay with me. Okay, let's start with algebraic and trigonometric skills. So the first thing on this page, we've got manipulating algebraic expressions, manipulating trigonometric expressions. You will need to know trigonometric identities, but you won't have to prove trigonometric identities which implies probably you won't have to use trigonometric identities to prove anything, but essentially you're not going to be proving trigonometric identities. Next page, we've got identifying and sketching graphs of related functions and composite and inverse. Well, big one here, you don't have to sketch the graph of a derivative given the graph y equals f of x. You don't have to sketch the inverse of a log or exponential function. Everything else is still in. On the next page, we're on solving algebraic equations. Quite a big one, this one. If we look down near the middle, it says, solving equations of the following forms for A and B, given pairs of X and Y. And the log graphs, log Y equals B log X plus log A, log Y equals X log B plus log A. Those types of equations where they've turned into almost straight lines are gone, but you might have to Use, use a straight line to confirm that it is indeed an exponential graph still. So be careful there that you don't get mixed up between the two. But that's gone. And finding the points of intersection, well, you'd have to do it between a straight line and a curve, but between two curves, a little bit harder skill, that is gone. Solving trigonometric equations, that's still in, not an issue there. So you'll have to solve, use the wave function, trigonometric formula, all the identities, over a given interval. Okay, let's look at geometric skills next. So we've got vectors, and we've never had vectors back in, so all the vectors are still out, still gone. Not an issue there. Calculus skills, that's differentiation and integration to me and you. So, let's go back a little bit on that. Determine the equation of a tangent of a curve by differentiation, that's gone. So, if you've got a curve, and you'll not have to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at a given point. That's quite a big one. That's a quite a common question. What is the equation of the tangent? You would usually have to differentiate it, find the gradient of that point, and then substitute it in the y minus b equals mx minus a. So that's gone. You'll still have to use the stationary points to find out if a function is increasing or decreasing, but you'll not have to sketch a graph of an algebraic function by determining stationary points and their nature. Integrating functions. If you look at our integrating functions here, we've still got to integrate x plus q to the power of n, but anything to do with trigonometry will not be integrating trig and will not be doing integration of px plus q to the n, which is quite a difficult one to do. So that's gone, that's gone, and that is gone, leaving just integration of the form x plus q to the n or solving differential equations. The next thing, differentiation. We have got anything to do with rate of change. If it mentions rate of change, it's not going to mention it in this exam. So you don't have to remember that rate of change means differentiation for this year. It's gone. Also, what's gone will be finding the area between two curves. You'll still have to find the area between a straight line and a curve, but two curves is gone. That's gone just because of rate of change. Okay, algebraic and geometric skills. So we've got all our usual straight line stuff, perpendicular lines, knowing that the gradient is tan theta, properties of medians, altitudes, perpendicular bisectors, equations of circles, tangents to circles, intersections of circles and line, that's all still there. The bottom bit's always been out, been out for a while, recurrence relationships. So that's the only thing on this page that I am crossing out. Okay, reasoning skills. There's nothing really there. This is just part of the normal SQA thing where you have to adapt and apply. There's nothing particular gone from there. And obviously you still need to know your symbols that might be used in any given question, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, real numbers. Although you don't have to use them in your actual answers yourself. Okay, let's summarise and let's go through what's actually just in then and ignore what's out. What should you study? What should you revise? Let's go. Quite a big bit of this, bear with me. This is from the Zeta Maths. Straight line, most stuff with straight lines in. You know, all your stuff from National 5 you should be skills that you already know. How to find the gradient, how to find the point of intersection between two lines. And from higher, midpoint, gradients to perpendicular lines. 
no na aim ik us tan fita colonial e perpendicular bisectors medians and altitudes all that still in and then these are the common terms you should know for straight line stuff let's move on to quadratic functions stuff from national five is there you should know completed square form factorized form expanded form you should be able to form completed square form or root form find the turning point substitute the other point to find the value of k you should be able to solve quadratics in any which way you can. You should be able to sketch quadratics from completed square or root form. You should be able to determine the nature of the roots and use that information to state what the nature of the roots are. You should be able to solve quadratics by rearranging by, and by completing the square. You should be able to complete the square when there's a non-unitary x squared, so 2x squared, 3x squared, 5x squared. Uh, solve quadratic inequalities and you should be able to use the discriminant. You should also be able to show that a line is a tangent to a curve. You don't need to find the equation of a tangent to a curve, but you should be able to show it is a tangent. And you should be able to know the nature of intersection between a line and a curve. Also, you should be able to find the points of intersection between a line and a curve as well. Okay, the circle, standard stuff, equation of a circle, the distance formula to find the radius being able to find the centre and the radius and therefore the equation, all the circle stuff that you already know about is in. There's your intersection of two circles there, equation of a tangent to a circle, oh, that's an interesting one. So, although you don't have to find the equation of a tangent to a curve, a circle is not a curve, a circle is a circle. So equation of a tangent to a circle, different skill is still in, be careful there. Okay, common words for circles. Functions. Stating the domain and range, all still there. Composite functions, inverse functions are still in, although you won't have to sketch a graph of an inverse log or exponential. Your common notation for that is there. For sets, graphs of related functions are all in. Add a vertical and horizontal translations, reflections, and so on. Polynomials. You'll have to factorise polynomials, synthetic division still in, solving polynomial equations, finding the remainder, find an unknown coefficients, find the equation of a polynomial from its graph is still in. Trigonometric functions. All, most, most of the trigonometric stuff from National 5 is there. Exact values you should know. Point of intersection between a graph and a line. You should know the addition formulas and how to use them, the double angle formulas, the wave functions still in. You've got sketching graphs, maximum and minimum values. And then we're moving into indices and, and differentiation. Increasing and decreasing functions, finding stationary points in their nature. Optimization, closed intervals. Basic integration still there. Definite integrals, area under curves, all the usual stuff, differential equations. Chain rule is still in with differentiation. Differentiating trig, but not integrating trig. Uh, log rules, log equations, sketching great related graphs, evaluating expressions using rules of logs, exponential growth and decay, and that's as we're done.